Compacted soil in your garden makes it harder for plants to grow and certainly for water to get down to root level. And that's a real problem if you're wanting healthy plants and lots of fruit and vegetables. So what is compaction? Well, ideally soil has air pockets to allow moisture, worms, roots and microbes to pass through. When soil gets compacted, these air pockets get squeezed out and it's harder for plants to grow and for water and nutrients to reach the plant's roots. Instead, water can pool on the surface and plants can literally suffocate. What causes compaction? Well, heavy machinery certainly does. Even cars parked on lawns, foot traffic, kids playing football, even over digging, especially when the soils are wet. And clay soils are prone to compaction. A simple test is to use a screwdriver or something simple, dig it into the ground and press it in as far as you can. And that is how deep I got it. That is compaction. Dig a hole about 30 centimetres deep to get a truer picture of what's underneath the loose topsoil. In this bed, it doesn't take very long to reach the compacted soil layer that is so dense that it comes up in big clods and the roots can't even grow into it. To fix the problem, try to avoid it in the first place, of course. Don't drive your cars onto the lawns. And with your veggie gardens, don't make them too wide. If you make it from the edge of the veggie garden so that your arm can reach out right into the middle and do your work like that without stepping on it. If you do have to step on a veggie garden, use bricks or a timber plank so that you're minimising compaction. If your soil is compacted, what can you do about it? Well, fortunately, there's plenty of things. You can try a soil aerator. This is a wonderful tool that you can just use like so, just jiggle it into the soil that's compacted as best you can and pull it out so that those drill holes will allow water and air and any top dressing to dribble through. That's a great little thing. Or if you don't want to get one of those sort of tools, use a garden fork. They're always really good to get in and put some aeration into the compacted soil. Preferably don't use it when the soil is waterlogged or too dry. And secondly, there's gypsum. And if you scatter this at two handfuls per square metre and water or work it in, it'll work like magic on compacted soil. How it works is that it binds the small clay particles together to form one larger particle. And that means that there's more air space around that particle and around the soil in general. It's great for air and drainage. The chemical reaction will eventually wear off, so long term you'll need to get organic material into the soil for a more permanent solution. Thirdly, for compacted lawns. Well, you must get some aeration into the lawn and into the holes you can add some more gypsum and some organic matter at the same time. In this case, it's wood shavings and cow manure. And that'll just seep into the holes, especially if you water it in. Make sure you don't cover all the green bits and smother it, but that will really get the microbial action happening. Number four, garden beds. It's better not to dig them over. In the olden days, we were taught to double dig, dig down two spades deep. You don't do that anymore. It's better to work on the top using organic matter and let nature do its work. Pile anything you can lay your hands on, like wood chips, shredded paper, straw, chopped leaves, lawn clippings, in layers on the bed. Make it at least 15 centimetres deep and then leave it for about a year. For a slightly quicker result, you can forget about the wood chips because they're so lumpy and large that they do take a while to break down. So use things like compost, your worm castings, or some organic sort of manures. And you'll find that they'll break down. Scatter them, put a little bit of straw over the top if you want, and then water them in, and they really will start to work immediately. Soil compaction doesn't have to mean a death sentence for your garden. So get out, get into it, get the soil healthy and growing again. Mm -hmm.